Hello everyone. So I thought of uh, do a small logic implementation using flow designer. It is very pretty much simple if it is uh, if it is a business tool. But for flow designer, okay, we will see how it is. Okay, so my requirement is an incident table. Okay, if a caller is VIP, okay, then set the priority to high this is what i want to try okay let's see okay so if it is not flow designer maybe we can simply do with the business tool business tool maybe before business tool or after business tool and uh, make a condition if the caller is vip then write a script that the current dot priority equal to one generally priority field cannot be directly set so maybe we can keep it impact equal to one and urgency equal to one. Then uh, the database lookup rules will take it up to priority equal to one. That is very simple when it is a business tool. But I want to try the same thing with the flow designer. So let's see here. So I went here. Maybe let's go flow designer. It looks a little simple, but let's see how it executes. So this is a page it looks like here we have so many components we don't want them so flow i want to create a new flow give some relevant name uh, what is that incident priority uh, one set for 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 vip color very simple okay and here I can see global because incident application is global. So this is makes sense application protection. I don't want to keep any protection. Just leave it run as let's take this one. Okay, because uh, incidents can be only updated by ITL people and others. So maybe if you take this one, if I don't think so. Yeah, others can create it or update it. But let's say like this. Okay, this is easy. So flow is submitted first step. I don't want to go for any tools okay no budget now here flow is similar like business rule so business rule the main part of business rule is a triggering condition so when you want to run a rule right so in our example what is the triggering is when the incident is created with a caller is VIP so creation of incident and a caller this could be our triggering so add a trigger so this is like in our business tool when condition right so so created just say created or updated both you can say okay so i will go for first one requirement created which record creation this is same like uh, this one so in my requirement incident incident why i said created and then table should be incident This makes sense and uh, in incident table when the caller is so condition should be created here so caller and as it is a reference field it goes for uh, second level dot work caller equal to VIP by the way I didn't like this pages because in business tool you see very nice view but here it is caller equal to VIP right so this is a condition so first time save it I will save it okay then this is when condition in business rule now actions what action I want to do okay so if when I'm creating an incident let's say I'm creating an incident like this and I will select a caller as a VIP user so in my instance I will tutor is my VIP user okay so when I create it when I create an incident with this condition then I want to do that second job right so what is the second job is here is updating the incident okay so hello so when I create and then it needs to update it so in the flow designer an action will be so I need to create an action here because it's not a flow logic or a flow something update record so I'll take update record let's see how it works okay updating which record the same record so if you want to update some other record then you may need to pick up the respective incident here so 
no sorry so let me see drag and drop data bills no so this is data bill so the record that is getting created that record you want to update it okay good and yes ticket it is an incident record fine then here what you want to update here in our example impact equal to high <clears throat> because this this priority can be only set with the impact and urgency based on lookup rules impact and urgency so i define this logic and i can say done here okay, and i can say save here so i created one condition i created one action very good and i can i need to activate it it is something like uh, we need to activate the flow then only it will work it is like you are setting a rule now the rule is activated from now onwards if this condition triggers this action will be done same like our business rule okay now i have this condition based instance so i am already written it so here impact urgency they are low intentionally kept it so i want to observe it so let's say i create a one incident so as per the flow that we defined an incident is created with the caller able tutor is which is a vip then the expectation is once this one is done it needs to update these two fields okay i'm just waiting because i observed like a flow design is a little bit slow than uh, business tool business tool if it is a business tool it will, it will be very quick but flow designer it is still uh, it is still loading or i don't know what is happening so let's wait for one second meanwhile i will open the incident record in a list view so that maybe we can observe the same thing in list view so we are we are thinking about this one so okay good I didn't see any change here. Let me refresh once because it's a dead. See here, yeah. Once I refresh it, I can see impact one, urgency one. Okay, these two we set it in a action flow designer action, and automatically once these two become one one, and priority also will look for. Okay, it's set automatically to one. Very good. So I think this is what I can do using flow designer. Now the problem with the flow designer is what i observed it we need to understand little bit about these things what are the things we are using here maybe we need to maybe little learn about it okay so here when i say update record okay we need to select that respective record which is created if not there is an issue okay i observed one issue here so say let's say update record or i'll say here create record maybe let's say i am creating it for first time I'll say create record and then it will say uh, it will ask for a table and it will ask for a field. Let's assume like I'm new to service now. Okay. So I feel like as maybe I confused saying okay when it is creating it to that creator record only I need to fetch the values. Okay. So if I use this create record and then table and then values, it may create a different record. We will see here. Okay, this is one observation we can try. So impact let's say I, I configured the definition like this which is wrong but let's practically see it what will happen impact and uh, urgency instead of update record if i say like this okay then it may it may be a mistake but we'll see practically okay so now what i defined is when it is created when a record is created uh, with a caller vip right then i'm instructing system here i am new assume that like i'm new and i don't know how to use it so i said create record and then i say like this so now very carefully see so it may give a wrong uh, it may give you wrong results also see here i'm creating a new record okay so i will tutor right and i'll select someone here and then i will select here hello okay very carefully see in our incident table we have 640 five incidents 640 is five incident now i am creating 35 i created it 
So the flow that I defined will run now because the condition is true. What it will do is it creates a new record altogether because the action that you instructed system to create a new record. So 35 is our incident and you just see here whether it updates with impact high. Yes, it is, looks like it is updated. What did I mistaken? Oh, I think I didn't activate it. Sorry. Activation. This is this is also one confusing part for me for first time. Okay. Every time you do some change, I need to activate it. So go back one more step, and then do my step again. Okay. I I am creating 36 now. Okay. I will tutor. Just select anyone, doesn't matter. Hello. Now submit it. 36, 346, I think. 646. Now I created 647. So, with the one which we created is 647. Yes, good. Now, sorry. Yeah, 736. Now if you come here, see, 736 is the one which we created with a condition, but system created one more, that is 737. And we can see the both values are set. Why it is happening is because the flow designer, we didn't define properly. So here you instructed system that create a record. It must be update a record. And which record you need to update, that also you should be very specifically mentioned here. So this is one confusion I see in it, okay, because I am new to this. Second confusion is when you see here, very carefully if we observe it, one action is okay, creating an incident, okay, with the VAP, right? So if it is before business rule, maybe the secondary action will run together. So there are no two actions here, okay? Because you can do before creation of this incident only, you can set the values. But here, this incident is up creating and then the same record is getting updated. So here, two actions are running. Correct? So this might be like keeping more actions on the system, okay? That is also we need to see, okay, whether it is a good one or not to use more frequently. And third thing is, these are all my observation. Maybe I might be wrong because I'm using it for uh, initial initial timings, okay? And let's say I want to do the same thing, okay? If it is created, then fine. Can I do for updation also? Yes, I can do for updation also. Created or updated, okay, with this condition. And then here, if record is getting created or updated with the condition met, then maybe you can do the same thing, okay? Action. The action also, I think you need to define two actions here. This is update record, okay? Update record and you need to create one more action here. Either that or either this, okay? Maybe that we can plan it, okay? So one action for create, one for update. I didn't see any action for create or update here, okay? So this one, we kept it one condition, either created or updated, okay? If it is VAP, but if for here, I can create one as update, Okay, for current record, let me try it. Right, and then uh, and this. Okay, urgency is high. And urgency is high and impact is high. So this one is updating the existing record, the same record. What if I can, I think this is the one, because you can't create a record, okay? If you use create record, it will create another record, which can be completely wrong for us, okay? So whether it is creating or updating, when a primary action is triggered, then you are separately updating it with this action, with update record action. So I think this is the only way we can do. So maybe if we practice more, then we can get control of it more. But so far, I feel like business rule is simple. Okay, before business rule is more simple. And the business rule will 
run very quickly but i seen little lag here okay which is also one more point i would like to notice here and when i am saving this flow design it is taking a lot of time maybe because it is registering something in the background it is writing some scripts to save the record i don't know okay so that's what the flow designer so finally i can able to do it okay when a record is created or updated with the color vap then i am automatically setting that same record state equal to okay priority one using database lookup rules yes so yeah let's practice it you can also come up with more simple simple scenarios same like this and then start design your own flows thank you